Hello, my name is Steve Friedberg. This is a demonstration of running the Fusion Middleware 12C Upgrade Assistant. What we're going to be doing is upgrading ODI version 11.1.1.7 and we'll be upgrading it to ODI version 12.1.2.1. A quick tour of doing an upgrade. Before we get into the upgrade itself, let me show you what we've got on this system. Under U01, under App, I have um, uh, Oracle, and underneath Oracle I've got Middleware, and under Middleware I've got ODI 11G. Then under U01 App 12C, I have another Oracle, another Middleware, and then I've got ODI 12C. Then underneath uh, Downloads, I have the patches that are required in order for the upgrade to happen. So these are the um, the downloads of the actual software itself. So ODI 11G comes in two pieces, two halves, quite big. And then you need to get a separate copy of RCU for 11G. The database that we're using is MySQL 5.6, so there it is. That expands to this MySQL 5.6. 1 of 2 and 2 of 2 expands to disk 1 and disk 2. The RCU expands to RCU home. So the 11G was fully installed and it was running on the database, which happens to be underneath um, the same U01 app Oracle. So the app Oracle home uh, contains the Aura inventory, contains the Aura inventory for the 11G, and underneath that there's the inventory. Then underneath 12C there's a different inventory, so it has to be a different Oracle home. So you see here we have the different inventory under this different Oracle home. As I mentioned, the patches have to be installed. So let's real quick look at the patches that we've got. If I did an O patch list inventory, you'll notice that I have the Java JDK specified out here. If you're using a 64-bit JDK, you need to specify it using, using this particular um, set of options. If you aren't using a 64K, 64-bit JDK, then you don't need to say that. So we're going to go ahead and list the patches that we have in question. And the patches are required. You must, must install the patches if you're going to do the upgrade. So the O patch is version 13.1. Um, these are the patches that fix the user, I'm sorry, fix the upgrade assistant itself. And then these are the generic patches that take you up to 12.1.2.0.1. So if we go into the um, ODI upgrade bin, what we're going to do is run UA and we'll look at what that looks like. So as I mentioned, the schemas are currently on the database, the Oracle database, which happens to be a 12.1 database. Welcome to the Upgrade Assistant. We're going to upgrade the schemas. There are no WebLogic components on the previous 11G in the installation that I put in because I decided to make the agent standalone. So we say next. We're just simply going to upgrade ODI itself, nothing else. So I'll select ODI itself. And this just verifies that we've already done everything we need to do prior to starting. The database connect string is localhost 1521 Oracle sys as sysdba our password it knew that dev ODI repo was the only one out there so there's no other choices And then we have the option of uh, upgrading everything or not. I don't know why you wouldn't upgrade everything. 
supervisor is named supervisor so you save this key write it down somewhere post it in a uh, in a text file you may need it later and that's it that's the whole thing uh, this oh this is what it's going to do including a printout of the upgrade key so here you see it's upgrading the master repository from 01 to 02 it actually takes longer than you see here but I squeezed out a lot of the waiting time it has been at this point for about a minute now You notice the terminology change from interface to mapping. And that's it. We completed. Go to next. It says it's all done. Close it up. Uh, then to actually run all of this, you notice that we have 11G here and 12C here. They're both installed. Um, it was necessary that both of them were stopped during the upgrade, so now we launch 12C. Connect your repository. It's migrating login information to the wallet. Uh, the 11G file will be removed, and so this is a one-way thing. You can't back up. Um, select yes if you want to keep if you want to remove the uh, old wallet no if you want to keep the old wallet so we'll say yes for more secure this is actually building the wallet it remembered this from before and in comes the information from our repositories. So we see that we have the sample tables project. Uh, interfaces have turned into mappings, and here we have a bunch of mappings. We have a bunch of procedures, and we should have a bunch of packages as well. So those are all good. If we look at our models, we see that we have the MySQL tables, which are the targets, and the Oracle sample databases, which are the sources. And just to verify that they actually work, we should be able to view data. And that all works perfectly. And if I want to execute a mapping, just to make sure that works, um, we can, uh, let's run the package. The package will truncate the existing MySQL HR tables, data stores, and then load regions, departments, and employees. And so we're ready to run that, uh, run that package. Started. Pop over to operator. All executions. It even migrated the previous ones from before. So we see June 25th, that's today. It was successful. It truncated everything and loaded it. So the migration was completed and successful. Thank you for watching this demonstration.